A lot of hard work, a lot of de dedication, and of course, wonderful product. It really, the product has to speak for itself. Uh, at Chariol, we have a very distinctive material that we use, which is the cable, which is completely uh, identifiable, unique, a one of a kind. And we have it across all our products, watches, jewelry, eyewear, pens, belts. And really, that is the secret of Chariol. That's the DNA of Chariol, and that's what makes us um, so unique. The most half pieces from Charles' collection, the ones I've designed this year, are the Forever Young Bangle. There it comes in many different colors, uh, many different sizes, and I love it. I love stacking it and collecting it and wearing an armful of, of bangles. The other thing is the Saint Tropez 35 watch, which comes with a moon face. I just launched that at Basel this year, and that is really the item to have this year. My proudest accomplishments is really creating a winner watch called the Kucha watch in 2005. I love the design, I convinced my whole company to do it and we did it and we actually won an award for it. So I was very happy about that. But every year is different, I really challenge myself, every year needs to be better and better and I hope to one day create a watch that is like the hottest thing and, and everybody's wearing it on the streets. So. Creativity in business is very hard to accomplish, okay? And I feel like I'm very business and then I feel I'm very creative. The secret to balancing both is actually working with an incredible team of people who help you where you are not as good. Um, so I have my brother, he's a visual director, he's actually an artist at heart. I work with him on a lot of the visual things and a lot of the creative things. And then I have other salespeople, even you know, in-house designers that I work with who do the, all the technical designs of the, of the products. Um, and so I work with all of these very talented people and that team is what makes a fantastic product at the end. It took me about 13 years to get to the table of the board of directors of Chariol. And I, did a, I worked very, very hard, but I am finally there, where people actually turn to me and ask for my advice, my opinion, and, I, and I'm thrilled that I'm finally you know, acknowledged. So it's a fantastic accomplishment for me. And I would tell my 21 year old self that you know, the relationships that you make along the way are really, really important. And the, your friends and, and colleagues and, and business people, and I really believe in connecting with those people and staying connected. Um, because people change jobs, life is long, and you never know when those people are gonna come back into your life. But to be Finally, you know, one of the directors of a company uh, after 13 years is a great, great feeling. I created Reactive Film first because I love film. I've always been obsessed with filmmaking. And secondly, because I've always been very, very interested in social issues, what's happening in the world today. And I wanted to take fantastic film and showcase them in front of different audiences. One being influencers and tastemakers, the other being college students, and the last one, the most important one, is high school students. And I take documentary films and teach kids about social issues and civic engagement in the classroom. So reactive film uses documentaries that involve different subject matter. For example, nutrition and, and um, education, as well as women's rights and civic rights as well. And the, the kids get exposed to these issues through the film. And then they react to these. So they create their own docs in reaction to it. They write a letter to their congressman in reaction to it. They change the way they eat. And it's so rewarding to see that um, our course has really affected change in their lives. The first one is Food Inc. It's actually the first doc that made me really change the way I ate and, and, and the way I lived and the way I made choices about food. And it's also one of the reasons why I, I started Reactive Film. 
So Food Inc., number one. Number two, misrepresentation. It's about how women are portrayed in the media. And I think this, every woman has to see. And the last one is called Hunting Ground. It's coming out soon, and it's about rape in, on college campuses, which is a very, very important topic to talk about. I've learned actually a lot of things about creating a nonprofit and running a nonprofit. I actually thought everybody was a kind of nun or monk that, you know, gave their time to charity and didn't get any money in return. But it is a business at the end of the day and it's about running a tight ship and making that making sure that every dollar actually goes where it's supposed to go. And that is the number one most important thing in in doing a uh, in creating a nonprofit. I think that nonprofits also should have a product that they sell or create so that in turn that money, that revenue comes back into it. I think that's a very smart business for a non for profit. So the non for profit is actually um, sustainable. The way you can react to film is first, of course, go to our website. Check out all the docs that we've worked with over the last five years. Secondly, you can watch trailers, answer questions, and get involved in different organizations that are around and portrayed around those documentary films.